Hey guys, I'm out here on this 1984 Chevrolet Silverado truck that I'm going to put the cover lay dash cover on. And this is the next day. I'm, in, I'm thinking this is part four of my never ending series of putting a cover lay dash on. So I put the silicone in and I've sanded it all down again. And I've practiced putting weights on it. I've got some cardboard and some books and some little bit of everything to try to make sure this cover lay dash cover will lay down flat on this dash. We've done a test fit and it seems to work pretty good. So now we're going to apply the glue. And uh, I have made a big old mess out here. But I've wiped all this down on the inside of this cover lay dash with a, my friend, glass cleaner with ammonia. And uh, I'm gonna apply silicone as in, per the instructions around all the edges here. So I'm hoping this will work out. I've never done this before. So if it's a failure, why? You'll know what not to do. And this little piece here is for the cutout for the the antenna that's in the windshield there on a GM product Chevrolet truck. So that's not a defect. That's put there on purpose to go over that little black rubber like thing that holds the wires for the antenna. Okay, I'm going to put the silicone on. I'll set it in there. My wife is going to help me because I'm thinking it might take two people. I just got one shot at this. And I'll let you know in a minute how it goes. Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm putting this silicone on. I'm trying not to put it on real thick. So uh, it won't squeeze out. I've got me some uh, painter's tape as well. And as I said, I've never done this before, and I, I might have to go back on a couple of spots. I'm going to stop right there and try to go over. I'm trying to do the hardest part first as, part, as far as putting this stuff on. So, I'm going to put some silicone in. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough weight for this to work. Going right along the edge best I can, keeping in mind that I'm thinking that when I press down on it, it's going to, some of it might squeeze out. So, well, I missed a little bit there, didn't I? But as I said, I can go back over it. No, just keep it going. Fortunately, today, I have my best friend, my wife, helping me. So, it's all good. Okay, I'm going to let my wife pause this, and when I get it all done, I'll let her resume and show you what kind of big old mess I got going. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm going to let my wife kind of show you where I've put the silicone at, and I've done it in a real big hurry. I'm, I was trying to keep it off the edge, you know, so much, because, as I said, I'm afraid when I put it on, it's going to kind of ooze out. I'm trying not to make a big old mess. Okay, my wife and I is fixing to put it on, and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Okay, guys. I know you're probably laughing. Look at all this junk I have sitting on top of this dash. All these good books. When Girls Meet Boys. Uh, what's that one? Trapper and Trading on the Far West. Make way for the brave. All kinds of good books. Something automotive. Automobiles, how they work. How they work. I guess you can tell I used to have boys at home that lived with us when they were younger. They read a lot. Gettysburg. Anyway, getting back to my topic. Uh, I put this dash on. I've got painter's tape. Got some cardboard. 
my wife come up with this idea. I was kind of at a loss. So she got some cardboard and crammed a book, books down in between the cardboard because it could get down further into the edge of the dash. And the books on the bottom and the front kind of forced it down with pressure. I was going to use some bolts and stuff that I had gathered up in bags and stuff that I've gathered up over the years and thinking that the weight, you know, would maybe work. But I think the idea she has is much better. Got, as I said, got some painter's tape and taped off everything. And I wish this was a little bit further in. But you know what? As my wife said, it is what it is. It's still better than what I had, which was a big bunch of cracks and stuff so uh it says to let the silicone dry for about eight hours and i'm going to put this try to ease this truck back up into the garage and just let it sit and i'll check on it tomorrow maybe but uh i'm i'm glad to get this done it's been it's been on my list of things to do and without my wife's help i don't think i could have got it in without having a great big old mess if you decide to do this uh, yourself uh, you might want to refer back to my video some of these edges uh, uh, you, I don't think they need trim but they're kind of having a hard time laying down and I put silicone I, as I said a thin layer but maybe you know when it dries it's going to be it's going to be all good better than what it was that's what my wife keeps telling me it's better than what it was and I'm pretty happy with it and she she asked me a time or two why did we glue it it, it sets so good the way it was without the glue and it sat in there wouldn't coming up wouldn't doing anything but I just want to do per the instructions so that's that's what we done and I'm I'm good with it the, maybe the books and stuff will this idea she come up with of course you can't really see the edge now for all the cardboard but right in there you can kind of see it's laying down pretty good and uh you know, it could have been I should have used some more silicone along the edges. I don't know. I was just trying to use somewhat of a thin layer because I figured when I pressed down on it, it was going to, you know, maybe ooze out and I'd have a bigger mess trying to get it situated and glued at the same time. But it is what it is, and it's better than what it was. So, hey, appreciate y'all watching the video. I'm sorry I made this series of stuff so long but it's took me a couple of days to get to this point so I've, as i said i think this is part four or part five i'll look at the other videos and see if you have any suggestions or anything well, I, I sure do wish you'd give me a thumbs up please subscribe leave a comment and uh i might if this turns out pretty good old dookie has a <laughs> has a really cracked up dash too I might get one of those coverlays and put a coverlay on it too. I'm supposed to get the seat redone anyway by Angie Dixon. So maybe when she gets my seat recovered, I might put a coverlay dash on it. And it's a 78, so it'd be somewhat different than this dash. The same, but just a little bit different as far as the shape of the dash and stuff. But it's my first time, so you know it is what it is and better than what it was. Hey, y'all have a good day. Appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much for keeping up with it. And uh, I'm having an awesome day, and I'm spending it with my best friend, my wife. Y'all have a good day. See you later.